Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to face another real-time scenario where we get the zip files in one of our folder. So if you see here, I have archive folder or you can call it source folder whatever and that's where you get those zip files. Zip files can be coming from different places. You might have downloaded them from FTP or maybe different business user has dropped the, the zip files here and each zip file can have one or more files so if you see here we have three files there is one excel there are two text files here whatever goal is we want to have ssis package that run and extract all these files from these zip files to one of the folder called input folder so that's where we want to extract them let's go and delete them so right now this is a empty and uh, we don't have to do anything here next part uh, what we want to do we want to come back to the original uh, screen and uh, here what you're going to learn you're going to learn how to loop through the zip files by using a uh, SSIS package we will be using for each loop I will be creating uh, some parameters for input and uh, archive folder so we can change those values uh, in different environments such as UAT prod uh, if we need to and uh, that's how we will be providing uh, different folder paths and uh, we will be using dotnet framework 4.5 and uh, i will let you know how to change that in script task we will be using a couple of assemblies such as system.io.compression.file system and we will be using system.io.compression as well so uh, finally once uh, we have that uh, assemblies added uh, we will use some classes uh, from those assemblies uh, and uh, make uh, use of those methods uh, to, to extract uh, the files uh, from zip uh, and then delete them at the end let's go and create SSIS package so first of all if you are using bids or SSDT you will see SSIS packages tab here you click here new SSIS package and uh, we can call this one unzip zip files and delete I could have used only script task in this uh, SSIS package uh, but uh, what I want to do I want to make use of a uh, for each loop container as well so uh, that's how you can learn about the for each loop first of all let's create those parameters what we were talking you can create the variables uh, if you are using uh, package deployment uh, here I'm using uh, project deployment and uh, my version is SSIS 2012 so I can use parameters if you don't have parameters you are using old version or you want to use uh, as a package deployment uh, you can make use of uh, variables so just go uh, go ahead and create variables or create parameters your choice so we have input uh, folder we can there that's where we are going to extract the files and uh, here's the path copy it go back here next part what we want to do we want to have archive folder path that's where our uh, zip files are so this is the archive file folder and then we are going to take the path from here there are two zip files sitting there with multiple files in them so we need to extract them that's good we are fine now let's go back to the control flow and we will use a for each loop container here so as uh, there could be multiple files uh, in the archive folder let's say there is another file text file so we are only interested uh, to get the dot z uh, zip files so i'm going to read those zip files so open the for each loop container go to collection uh, and here we have for each file eliminator hit uh, here go select the directory make use of your parameter or variable so in case our case we have a archive folder that's where our files are hit ok remember I don't that I went to expression and use the directory is equal to the pa parameter uh, package parameter I don't want to do hard code here that's the reason because when I will move my package from one environment to another environment I can change the value of this package parameter or a variable by using configuration so I don't have to make changes uh, in my package itself so that's the reason and here we will be saying zip and 
we can read a fully qualified path that will be giving us uh, the archive path backslash uh, the file name and extension so we are interested in that that's fine and let's get that uh, and save it to we, call, we can call it uh, zip full path so this is a variable we are creating this is string type and hit OK. Every time the for each loop uh, container is going to uh, iterate or loop through, it will uh, get a new file name for us and save into this uh, variable. Now we are all good. And next part, what we can do, we can make uh, start working on a script task. So bring the script task here. Open it. Now what we need here, we need uh, two things. Uh, one. Uh, file full path that's uh, the zip file path and the uh, sec second path what we need uh, we need input folder that's where we want to uh, extract those uh, files so we will be using these uh, two uh, one package uh, parameter and one package variable so that's what we will be using here so hit ok next uh, you can select the Microsoft uh, Visual C sharp or VB in my case I'm gonna uh, stick with the C sharp so your choice whatever you want to use in as a scripting language uh, edit script is uh, taken small some time and it will open it first of all we will be changing the dot net framework so we'll be going to solution uh, right click uh, properties uh, and then here in the application tab we'll see target framework uh, so here we will change to 4.5 and then it will say okay I wanna save it uh, close it and reopen fine with me close this part Next, uh, we will be adding the reference to the assemblies uh, as we will be using uh, those from the uh, .NET from Framework 4.5. So click on the reference, add reference, and as you can see, targeting .NET Framework 4.5 now. So let's go and uh, check that uh, we have system.io compression and system.io compression dot file system. We will be using both assemblies. So uh, save it. Now we are good and here we will make use of them uh, let me add those namespaces system.io.compression and then uh, as we will be deleting the files as well so we need system.io namespace as well so we, as uh, we are going to delete those zip files from the folder structure now we are all good next part we are going to write uh, our script I always recommend to write uh, or save the uh, SSIS package parameter values or SSIS variable values to the local variables here in the script task and then use it because there could be multiple places you will be using them and every time it is hard kind of write all those DTS dot variable and every uh, you know the name of that so why not to create the local variables in our case we are going to call the zip full path DTS dot variables and here we have double quotes user and we call it zip full path just make sure you have a correct name as it is case sensitive so if uh, you will make a mistake with the name uh, instead of a z's capital here if you will put a small you will have problem it's not gonna uh, go ahead and run it it will throw an error so make sure you are sync uh, with the, the with the variable names uh, what you have in SSIS uh, package and we call it uh, input folder and I'm gonna use DTS dot variables and then we will make use of uh, this time we'll make use of package parameter so we call it uh, input folder and then we have value of two string all good now we have created uh, the local variables we can make use of uh, them next part is uh, start using those assemblies uh, what we have uh, created so we will be saying using and then uh, I'm gonna make use of zip archive class here and uh, I will say archive equal to zip file let's uh, get this one dot uh, open read we want to read uh, all those files uh, you know so we have to zip full path and uh, then parenthesis start parenthesis end now what is happening here 
let me show you what we are doing here as we have zip file full path that's coming from uh, our uh, for each loop that's where we created that uh, this variable and then uh, that's that's going to return us uh, the zip file what we want to do by using zip archive uh, class uh, we want to open that uh, file and uh, want to read uh, all the files from there so zip file will have uh, let's in, let me show you this is zip file right so zip file has three files inside so we want to read them and then uh, once we have that we have open read all good we will be using a uh, for each loop uh, because there are multiple files uh, in this uh, zip file and uh, there could there's possibility they will be always so we will say zip entry so we will get the entries uh, and we can give any name uh, here uh, for the and we say arch that's what our archive and then we say entries so by doing this uh, what we are doing we are getting uh, the entry from the list of the entries so every time it is going to iterate through it will be from this uh, zip file and then has all the entries so let's say there are five files in that so we will be saving one at a time and looping through so next uh, will be user let me start parenthesis close parenthesis for the for each loop now we have uh, the file names uh, coming from the zip file what we need to do we need to extract them so we'll say entry dot extract to file and we'll say path we'll make use an another class and then we'll say combine and here is uh, the method needs uh, input folder so we have input folder and then uh, it need the name of the entry so entry dot full name so that's what we will be providing it's the uh, four line of code uh, um, as I explained that we what we are going we are opening that zip file and then we are using the for each loop uh, to iterate through those file names uh, and then uh, we are uh, moving uh, or extracting uh, that uh, file uh, to the input uh, folder so that's all we have here one parenthesis is missing we put that and once uh, the file is extracted uh, so this is done so all the files are extracted from the zip file what we want to do we want to delete that file so we'll say file dot delete we will make use of file uh, class here so we'll say file dot delete and here we have to provide arc full path sorry zip full path because we want to delete the, the zip file so this is uh, all we need to do in the script task we are all good now save the script task you can go ahead and build it just to make sure sure there is no errors and anything you can close it now go back what we have here in the input folder we don't have anything and in the archive folder we have two zip files sitting here one has three files one is Excel among them and there are two in the other zip file so we should have five files go uh, in the input folder and then uh, also once the package is done uh, these zip files should be deleted so that's what our logic is we want to extract the file from zip file and then delete the zip file so let's go ahead and run the package great so this is really fast now we go to the input folder and we see that all those five files are here so if you go to archive folder here you have only .txt sitting there because we did not or we don't want it to touch these other files we are only concerned with our zip files so packages all set if you have multiple 5 20 30 40 whatever you have zip files here it is going to extract all of them and put into the input folder by using the parameter paths you can go ahead let's say tomorrow you decide now okay my extraction folder um, path has changed so maybe instead of uh, uh, input folder you will say extract folder or something so that, that you can use also on this path uh, input folder here and if your archive file where you get the file zip files uh, that's uh, that has also changed you can go ahead and change it so by using configuration you can change the value of these parameter on different uh, environments uh, one more thing I would like to say once uh, the files are extracted uh, you can use uh, another uh, for each loop container and then uh, load those files uh, 
so here you have another for each loop now you you know that where the files are they're in the input folder so you go in the general sorry collection and here we have defined that to the input folder so start using input folder sorry and that's it now you can tell uh, you want to read all the files or you can read it and then uh, get the name and extension and whatnot and inside the for each loop uh, you can handle those situations by using presence constraint uh, expression and all that uh, and load those excel file or maybe just that you want to load the csv files in this package and uh, maybe use another uh, package to load the excel files so you can once the files are ready in the input folder you can make use of them i have a lot of videos uh, you want to take a look on that how to load multiple files uh, to the sql server table with the same metadata or ho how to load different uh, metadata information files uh, to different sql server tables uh, so there, there are tons of video you can go ahead and uh, check uh, uh, in in my blog post i have the link in the description and uh, you can uh, follow step by step uh, thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video